seven. Miradas on the switch. Nonchich goes on. Oh, What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night as it's actually currently 122 to 78 with like 30 seconds left. So pretty much we got this game in the Little Caesars Arena and this was a much, much needed victory, especially because it was just a disgusting performance by the New York Knicks last night versus the Dallas Mavericks. Julius Randle didn't have it. RJ Barrett didn't have it. Pretty much no one had it offensively or on the defense side of the basketball. Maybe you could say Noel was still pretty solid, but there was tons of lapses. We didn't play a full 48 minutes of basketball. We didn't consistently really have our um, foot on the pedal to the metal, or we just really didn't have our foot on the gas the entire basketball game. You got to play 48 minutes of basketball. You have to execute on both ends of the floor. And that's what we did in a much, much needed victory up against the Detroit Pistons. This is a game you should win. Third worst team in the NBA, actually behind the Rockets and um, behind the Minnesota Timberwolves. Of course, Timberwolves projected to get the first overall pick and the Rockets second. It's funny because the Pistons were actually in that second slot, but then the Rockets, of course, blew it up. Russell Westbrook gone, James Harding guard gone, DeMarcus Cousins, just everyone gone, of course. And and Oladipo, especially, that was just uh, the little um, candle or the cherry on top of a milkshake or just whatever you want, phrase you want to say. Everyone has their own phrases in the world. But anyway. Yeah, this was a much-needed victory. We had to win this basketball game. I don't care that they have Jeremy Grant. I don't care that Killian Hayes is coming back. If we want to be a playoff team and if we want to really have a shot at making it to the playoffs, you've got to win this basketball game. And this was an exclamation point type of win. You needed to feel motivated after losing three straight. And that's what the Knicks did. They came out freaking motivated in this basketball game, especially because we have the Brooklyn Nets coming up. So we had to win this game. Kevin Durant may potentially be back. And we know like Durant, literally him by himself, it doesn't matter who's around him, we'll probably lose, lose to him. Because in my opinion, he's probably one of the best scorers of all time. And just, yeah, he's unbelievable. But anyway, in the first quarter, we pretty much just destroyed them in the first quarter to keep it blunt with you guys. 41-15 to 15 in the first quarter. We outscored their starters in the first quarter. 41-1. to 1. Julius Randle by himself outscored the Pistons in the first quarter. And I like Killian Hayes. I like Jeremy Grant. Um, Sekou Demboya, they're like, they're losing all these games. I don't see why he's not getting an opportunity unless he's just absolute trash. But we knew like he was his project coming out. But yeah, RJ Barrett, I thought he played well. Like he let the game come to him. You can't really look at the stats when it comes to his basketball game, but he really let the game come to him. I like what Taj Gibson brought in this game. Like Alfred Payne, I thought even played solid. It was starting to look like the Alfred Payne from last year looking to pass the basketball. He forced the issue there and there. But this was the Reggie Bullock and Julius Randle show. Julius Randle needed a bounce back type of game. Same thing with RJ Barrett. As Julius Randle had one of the most inefficient nights like of his NBA career or even in a New York Knicks uniform versus the Dallas Mavericks last night. And he didn't look gassed. He looked like he was ready to play. You look very well conditioned. I believe you finished with 28 or 29 points in this game. He was killing it from beyond the arc, beyond the arc early in this game. Um, so yeah, Julius Randle was amazing. Reggie Bullock was amazing in this game as well. We know Reggie Bullock's this really streaky player. We can't rely on him every single night, but it was very, very encouraging to see Julius Randle ball, ball out in this game because when Randle wasn't clicking offensively, this team is absolutely lost. I um, mean, I don't know if like we could have trusted RJ Barrett to be that number one option to really take over in this game when a guy like Julius Randle is off, but it was pretty much New York Knicks this entire game. I really like the ball movement, even though like for some reason we stopped moving the ball like before halftime, but it was New York Knicks, New York Knicks, New York Knicks, Knicks this entire game. Uh, there were some garbage time points at the end by Kevin Knox. It was cool to see him knock down a couple threes. It was cool to see Obi's threes go in as well. Looks like he's starting to really absorb some confidence. But the ball movement, the defense, like at one point we held them to like 30% shooting. I know they're not the best of team and they're very young with Sadiq Bey, Isaiah Stewart, Jeremy Grant, Sekou Demboya, Killian Hayes. But we needed this victory. Pistons aren't good. You got to win these winnable games. You got to. And this is a game the Knicks would have lost in the past. But the Knicks came out the W. Taj Gibson played well. Thought RJ let the game come to him. Like when he wasn't having a lot of points, like he wasn't really forcing the issue like whatsoever of just like, just forcing himself at the basket or forcing himself into these tough shots. I believe he finished with 14 points. Had a solid um, 
playmaking night as well. I thought Randall did a good job um, dishing out the basketball. There was a couple times that Payne could have found RJ or someone else could have found RJ, and I thought he had potential to have better points. But yeah, of course, this game's definitely going to help his efficiency go up. I believe he only missed like two or three shots. He didn't attempt He didn't attempt a lot, but he actually executed well from the charity stripe, which you like to see. But the Knicks came out the W. We needed this game. We really did. And we got to see some Norville Pell action at the end, getting some rebounds in his um, Knicks NBA debut. But thank you guys so much for watching. Knicks came out the W. We needed that one. And have a great night, guys. I will be going live for the post-game live stream at like maybe 11 o'clock it's 10 24 but thank you guys so much for the great amount of support and peace out yo